Hi guys and welcome to another video by Erios Design Studio. My name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how to install this website you see on screen for completely free. You get access to around 20 free templates in total and all you need to do to download those, you just need to go to the link in the description where it says free templates, click that link, enter the coupon code YouTube100 at checkout and it will be 100% off the cost, you'll get it for completely free. Please do hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. I'm going to be providing lots of content in the coming weeks and months, uh, showing you guys how to set websites up for free, whether this is blogs, e-commerce sites, business sites. So please do subscribe. So lots of templates are included with this download. You'll get two different home pages to choose from. You get an about page, services, contact and blog page and also lots of other sections for other parts of the website. Now this is built using the free version of Elementor, so it's not using the pro version. So building this will be completely free as well as getting the templates for completely free. The only payment that's required is for a hosting plan and you need to have a hosting um, plan anyway if you wanna have a website because you need to host it somewhere. I personally recommend SiteGround as I use them for all my websites. I find that they're the quickest and also the most affordable. There's a link in the description to SiteGround, so please click that link and subscribe to SiteGround. If you need assistance with this, there's a video in the top right of your screen now which will guide you through the entire process and also installing your SSL certificate, which is really important to ensure the security of your website. So once you've done all that, please head to your WordPress dashboard and we'll begin installing all of the templates and plugins. Now, before we begin any installations, we're going to change a couple of settings on the actual um, website. So if you head over to settings on the left-hand side, so this is basically where you can change your site title. I've just got mine called Startup, but call yours whatever you want. I've got a tagline in there. This is really important. Make sure an S is on the end of HTTP do it on both boxes. This basically ensures the security of your site as long as you've got an SSL certificate installed. If you haven't got an SSL installed at the moment, then please check the video in the top right of your screen now and it will be a guide on signing up to SiteGround and installing that SSL. If you want users to be able to register on your site and tick this box, I'm not going to just because it's a demonstration site, but once you're done, press save changes at the bottom WordPress will kick you out, so you have to log back in, but it'll take you back through to the settings page. Once you've done that, we're just gonna change the theme of the entire website. Um, so we're gonna head over to appearance on the left-hand side, and we're gonna go over to themes. We're gonna to go to add new, and then we wanna install a theme called Hello Elementor. So all you have to do is type in hello into the search bar at the top, and it will automatically come up. It's this one here, so just press install, and then activate. Okay, now that's done, we're going to be able to start to import our templates. Now to do that, we just need to install one plugin and that will install all the templates plus the remaining plugins that need to be installed for the site to work properly. So simply head over to plugins on the left hand side and hover over it and just go on to add new. Now we're going to search for a plugin called template kit. So just type in template kit into the search bar don't need to press enter, it will automatically pop up. It's this first one here, template kit import, so install now, and then activate. Now it's just a couple of extra simple steps to start the import. Um, so we'll have all of our templates for our entire website in about two minutes. So to start the import, we just need to go over to tools and we need to go down to template kit. Now click anywhere in this box and then find the file that you've downloaded called template kit and it will basically install all of the templates we need, all the pages along with all of the plugins uh, to get our site ready. Okay, so now you need to click into this box and then find the file that you downloaded from my website called template kit. If you haven't downloaded that yet, there's a link in the description and use a discount code YouTube100 and then it will be completely free. So once you've imported it, this page will pop up. You need to hit install requirements to install the plugins. These are the plugins attached to this template. Just click install above selected requirements 
and it'll just go down the list. It'll only take 10, 20 seconds to do, and it'll install all the plugins for this site to work properly. Once done, press close. Okay, so this template kit includes a lot of templates. There's 23 templates in total. These range from certain pages to certain sections on the page, but all of the templates are here for your site to be ready and live after install. So we need to basically import all of these templates to our site. The first one that we need to import, really important, is Global Kit Styles. It's the first one in the list anyway. This is basically the overall formatting, the color schemes, the fonts, etc. So you need to import this one first. So just click import and then work your way down the list. Just do one at a time because it might um, just slow the system up. So just go for each one and import each one one by one. Now, just while I'm doing that, it's uh, worth noting that you actually have two home pages on this uh, template kit. So you get two options as to how your actual home page is going to look. So have a little browse of both pages and see which one you like best. Um, and then once we come around to actually installing that template, um, just pick the right one. Okay, once you've made your way down the list, all templates are now imported onto the website and it's just a simple process in creating our pages and our site will soon be ready. Obviously, this is using Elementor free version, so it's not using Elementor Pro, so this is obviously going to be completely free from here. The only cost that you would have paid would have been the actual hosting, um, but this is obviously totally free. Okay, next, just um, to refresh this, because you might not have templates displaying um, on the left-hand side yet, just um, press dashboard, and then if you don't have it displaying, then it will refresh, and then it will display. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go head over to templates, so click on that. We're just going to double-check something. So these are all the templates that we've just installed. Um, not all of them will be displaying, so you need to go to this section here where it says all, just click all, and then all the templates we've just imported will display. Now, you should have 23, which is installed. Um, if you have any more than that, then go to the next page. And if you have a template called default kit, I haven't got it, you shouldn't have it, but if you do, just find it and delete it. So just go over it and press trash and then confirm deletion. This is basically the overall formatting of the site. Um, the kit style startup is what we want to use for our formatting. If default kit is on the template screen on the list, then it might not work properly. So as long as you delete default kit, everything will be fine, but you shouldn't have that anyway, but just in case you do. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start creating our pages. So we're going to start with the home page. So go over to the left hand side where it says pages, just hover over it and then go on to add new. You get this pop-up box, just close that, and we're just gonna title this home, and then we're gonna simply click Edit with Elementor. Now here we're gonna simply import the home template that's already on our site. So it's a really quick process. So all you need to do is press this button here, the gray circle with the white folder, and then you're gonna go over to My Templates, and then you're gonna find the home page in the list. Now obviously you have two choices, you have home one, home two. I'm just gonna go with home one for the demonstration, but please do choose the one that you prefer and um, select that and insert it. So I'm just going to insert home one, press yes. And then once loaded up, your page should look exactly like the demo. It's all done for you with nice animations as well. So all you have to do now is basically customize this to your liking, putting in your own text and your own images. Um, you will need to change the images out. Um, I do recommend using either Pexels or Unsplash. Those really good websites or Pixabay uh, where you'll be able to use free images and you won't have to worry about copyright. Now to change those images, so for example on this one, all you need to do is click into it, left click, and then here you'll be able to choose another image. So just upload another image once you've downloaded that. Again, if you want to customize the text, click into the text. You'll be able to customize it here. So you always have three tabs. So you've got the content tab where you can basically type in your own text. Um, with the picture, you'll have kind of where you're able to change the image, a couple of other options as well. But with the text, you'll be able to style it, obviously, on the style tab. 
you can change the color, you can change the typography, so just click that uh, little pencil, you'll be able to change the actual font, the sizing, the weight, whether it's in capitals, etc., the line height, so lots of customization that you can do here. The same with the MailChimp part, so if you are MailChimp and you have a uh, newsletter list, this is where you can link it up. Um, again, if you just click into that, you'll be able to customize it, and change the style, the colors, etc. So just work your way down the page and clicking into each section and customize it to the way you want it to look. But please do make sure you change the images because you probably don't have the license for these images. Like I said before, go to Unsplash, go to Pexels or Pixabay and then you won't have a problem with any images. So just work your way down the list, changing everything out, putting your own text in there and you'll soon have the home page that you want. So once that's done, all you have to do is hit publish and then go to the top to the three lines and then go exit to dashboard and then press the WordPress icon to go back and now we have our home page. Now we do have two extra pages here. I'm just going to send these to the trash because um, I don't need those at the moment. Um, so we just have the home page. So now we're basically going to repeat that process for every page. So let's do the about page next. So go to add new and then call this one about, edit with Elementor, go to the folder, go to my templates and then find the about page. It's all alphabetical so it's just at the top here, insert it, press yes and then it will load up exactly like the demo. So again just go through the page, click into each section and change it all out to the text that you want, to the style you want, to you know changing the images um, but once you've done that, just press publish and then again go back. So go to the three lines and then exit to dashboard. Press a WordPress icon and now we'll do the same for the services page. So add new, title this one services, then edit with Elementor. Press the folder, find the services page in the list. So go over to my templates, scroll down to the bottom services page here, just insert that, press yes. And then it will load up again click into each section change the text change the images you can change the icons as well if you want to change the color of the icons everything here is customizable so once done press publish three lines again and exit to dashboard wordpress icon so i'll keep it as that for now but if you want extra pages find those pages in the list and just repeat that process Okay, now I simply want to tell WordPress what my home page is so that people go onto the home page straight away when they go onto your domain. So to do that, you're gonna go over to the left-hand menu, hover over appearance, go down to customize. This page will display because WordPress basically thinks this is your home page, which is the blog archives. So if anyone went onto your domain, this is what they see and we don't want that. So go to home page settings on the left-hand side click on a static page, go to the drop down box under home page and then simply press home. Then your home page should load up here and then all you need to do is press publish. Once done, press the X in the top left and it will take you back to the dashboard. Now we just want to put some menus on the top of our page so people can click um, and go to those certain pages. So to do that, hover over appearance again, go down to menus, it will already populate this with the pages that you have on your WordPress site. So call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep mine as menu one, create menu, and then make sure you tick primary here, and then you choose your pages. So I've only got these um, pages on my site at the moment, but if you go onto this section here and go on view all, then you'll see a list of all your pages that you can just add to the top menu or to the footer menu if you create a footer menu. So I'm just going to keep it as this, so make sure you press save menu because otherwise you'll have to come back and do it all over again. And now we're just going to go into our home page to make sure that menu is displaying properly. So go over to the left hand side, hover over pages. In fact, just click pages, you don't need to hover. And then go to the home page, edit with Elementor. We're going to click on the top header here. This is where the menu should be displaying and we simply need to select the menu from the list. We've only created one, so just select menu one and then your menu will display at the top of the page. So once done, press update. 
and now we can view our site. So if you go to the three lines, exit to dashboard, and then press the WordPress icon again to go back. Now if you go to the top here, you'll have your uh, site title, I've called mine Startup, just click that, and this is your live site. So this is exactly what people will see when they go onto your domain. There's some really nice animations as, uh, as you scroll down and your menus displaying so people will be able to click to your different pages again with some nice animations. Now as you can see we'll have to go into the individual pages because the menu is not displaying across the top so what we need to do you can do it on this page so you can either go back to your dashboard and go to pages and then go to the about page and then edit with Elementor or if you have it on this view you can simply click edit with Elementor here and then you'll be able to change your menu so just click on the menu there and then select it from the list and then it will display just press update so we want to do that with the remaining pages so if you want to do it directly from here go to this little eye here to preview the changes press that and then you'll get this up again and then just go over to your next page so I'm going to go over to services again the menu's not displaying here just go on edit with Elementor and then simply change the menu, select it to menu one. So click on that, select the menu, menu one, and it loads up and simply press update. So if we now view our site again, now all the pages will display the menu. Now with the buttons, so if we go to edit with Elementor on this page, so I can show you um, how to actually put the links on the buttons. So we haven't actually got a contact page loaded up yet, but if you repeat the process and add that contact page, you'll be able to get the link to that contact page. So just get the URL to that page once you've added it, and then all you need to do is click onto this. And then on the first tab that comes up under content, you'll be able to put the link in here. So get rid of the hashtag and then put the link into your contact page and then when anyone clicks that, they'll go straight through to that page. And then just do the same for any other button that's on the site. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, please like it. If you didn't, then please dislike it. And do let me know why you disliked it so I can actually improve future videos. Also hit that notifications bell because I'm going to be releasing uh, a lot of content over the next weeks and months which is going to be giving really good content on creating websites for either as cheap as possible or for free. So if you do subscribe and hit that notifications bell you won't miss a single video. Again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.